Now I'll tell you about affine spaces. So imagine linear algebra without the dot product. And for those of you who took linear algebra with me, it's actually very easy to do because in the first linear algebra course, and you guys only took the first linear algebra course with me, there were no dot products. Right? I specifically saved it for linear algebra 2 just so that you can appreciate just how much you can do without the dot product. And so then you understand the role of the dot product a little bit more clearly. So imagine the world of linear algebra without the dot product. So what do you have? Then all you have is linear combinations. And what can you do with linear combinations? Well, with linear combinations, you can only evaluate linear combinations. And if you start with two vectors like this, and you start evaluating linear combinations, then you get this kind of a skewed grid. And here's the interesting thing that happens. First of all, when I hear affine space, my brain visualizes a grid like this. So maybe that's helpful, maybe that's not. But what you need to realize is that when you only have linear combinations, you have no concept of length. You can introduce a concept of length by saying, all right, here's one inch, and we can use a tape measure to measure these, but you can try to ignore that altogether. And the question is, what do you have then? And the answer is, you can still make some statements related to length. You can still compare lengths of vectors as long as they're collinear. Like, for example, I could probably tell that from here to here is, I know my drawing's not perfect, is twice the distance from here to here, right? Because this vector right here is double this vector. So I can compare those two. I can say that this vector right here is three times this vector. But I cannot compare the length of this one to the length of this one because I have no idea. So if they don't point along the same direction, then I cannot compare their lengths. And when I'm comparing their lengths, what I'm really saying is if we were to introduce lengths in the future somehow in a, some reasonable way, then the lengths would be related how I just told you. I can even compare vectors that point along a different direction as long as they point in the same direction. For example, I can say that this vector from here to here is double this vector. It's literally double in the linear combination sense, but I can say it's twice as long. So even though I don't have length, I can kind of make a statement about length if we were to introduce length. And I'll give you an example from real life that will make perfect sense. Think of the Manhattan grid you know that the distance from 43rd Street to 44th is the same as from 44th to 45th, right? And it's the same as from 67th to 68th, because all the blocks are regular. But what is that distance, right? You're not able to tell me that distance, right? Because you don't know precisely. You've never measured it, or you never looked it up on Google, right? You've never Googled the dis you know, how long is a New York block. But you, know, but you can compare distances as long as you move north-south. So there's a little bit of a comparison that you can make, some statements about distances that you can make. Now, the avenues are not spaced the same as streets. And unfortunately, the avenue grid is not regular. I think the distance between, the, between 6th and 7th avenues is actually greater than between Lex and Park and so on. Right? But pretend that they were regular. Well, then you could say that going two avenues is, is half the distance of going four avenues across. And going one avenue is one-sixth of going six avenues across. And you could even make a more advanced statement. You could say that going two avenues over and ten streets up, whatever distance you, this ends up being, is half the distance of going four avenues over and... 20 streets up, right? Now, you don't know what this distance is or what that distance is, but you can still compare them, even though you don't know any absolute distances. But if I asked you, how do you compare going two avenues over and 10 streets up? How does it compare to going four avenues over and still 10 streets up? 
So I'm asking you to compare this distance to this distance. And without the additional information about the absolute sizes, you can't even answer that question. You agree with me? Yeah. So compare this to this, you can in linear algebra terms because they're collinear. But when the vectors are not collinear, you can't compare their lengths. So that's what an affine grid feels like. And it's surprising how many geometric facts have to do with the affine nature of geometry and linear algebra and has nothing to do with the dot product, even though we're making statements about lengths. Okay?